is worthy of all of the glory and all of our love for his holy and for his holy.
going to be praying tonight for southern Sudan, for the city of Juba, the ending of human trafficking, for revival amongst believers there. I invite you at the start of this prayer meeting, if you like, to stand all over the room as we agree together in intercession. Isaiah chapter 63 and 64. Look down from heaven and see from your habitation, holy and glorious, where your zeal and your strength, the yearning of your heart and your mercies, are they restrained? Oh, that you would rend the heavens, that you would come down, that the mountains might shake at your presence as fire burns brushwood and causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries nations might tremble at your presence. Father in heaven, we come before you tonight in the name of your son, Jesus. We stand before you as the, the king over all the earth. We stand before you as our father in heaven, as your sons and daughters that you have washed, that you have purchased. Lord, we say that we are yours. We love you. We belong to you, God. By the blood of Jesus, we approach your holy throne, and we ask you that you would look down upon southern Sudan. We say, oh God, where are your zeal and your strength? ask you that the mercies of your heart would be stirred. We ask you that you would look down and see and rend the heavens over southern Sudan. We ask you for your presence to come. I ask you for the church of southern Sudan and in Juba, oh God. I ask you that you would strengthen them and I ask you that you would Build them up by the power of the Holy Spirit. I ask you that your presence through them would topple the obstacles of oppression. I ask you that you would put favor on righteous governmental leaders. I ask you that you would exalt righteousness. You would tear down wickedness, oh God. I ask you, Lord, that you would establish justice for the, the poor and the oppressed, Lord. I ask you that you would send revival and outpouring of the Holy Spirit to southern Sudan. To the believers there, I ask you, in Jesus' name, rend the heavens and come down. of civil war, God, I ask you that you would speak peace.
2nd Thessalonians 3. Father, we come before you tonight in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we say that we love you in this place. We say that salvation belongs to the Lord. And Father, we ask you tonight for Southern Sudan. We ask you for believers in Juba. Father, we ask you that the word of the Lord would run swiftly and be glorified. Father, we ask that you would revive a region according to your word. That you would look upon the mountain of human trafficking. That you would come to the darkest and the hardest places. And that Jesus, that you would sing in the midst of the congregation. That you would sing the songs of deliverance in Sudan. Father, we ask you to anoint your church. We ask you to anoint houses of prayer. We ask you to anoint intercessors to break the bonds of slavery. We ask you for the yoke of oppression to be broken at the name of Jesus. We ask you that the gospel would be preached in power with conviction and clarity. Father, we say send revival to Sudan. Send revival to Sudan. Rend the heavens and come down. Release the songs of the Lord. We say songs of deliverance come forth in Sudan tonight. Songs of deliverance come forth in Sudan tonight. In the name of Jesus, let your word run swiftly and be glorified. Let your word run swiftly and be glorified. Let the word of the Lord run swiftly. Revival.
tonight, our Father in heaven, and we ask you humbly that you would change the course of an entire nation tonight as we pray. We ask you that you would shift the spiritual atmosphere over southern Sudan. We ask you that you would push back darkness, that you would release light and truth. I ask you in the name of Jesus, send revival and end human trafficking southern Sudan. Father of glory, we take our stand before you. God, we say, send forth justice. We prophesy the light. God, let your justice go forth. Gird your sword upon your side, almighty warrior, for the cause of truth, humility, and righteousness. Jesus, ride on. save the souls of pimps and traffickers that you would make them preachers of righteousness father we ask that your light and your truth would prevail in sudan lord Abba, we ask that in your mercy you would lead many unto repentance father god we just ask for a holy revival in sudan that you just end human trafficking, Father God. That you that have, that you make the people that have holy and captive, make them shake and tremble at your feet, and let it be known that your glory is great, Father God.
today as Southern Sudan has gained their independence, I ask, Father, that you would establish a righteous leader, one who loves and fears the name of the Lord, one who loves righteousness, God, and hates wickedness. God, I ask that you would raise up a man after your heart. Lord, I pray for those that are overseeing the drug, or the, sorry, the human trafficking, Lord. I just ask for redemption, that this area that has been the area they've sown perversion will become an area where they sow life, Lord God. Raise them up as leaders in houses of prayers, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we're asking for salvation encounters, that the oppressors would be saved and that the oppressed would be set free in your love and your compassion, Jesus. Father, we lift up our voice. For those who do not have a voice, we ask you to send help from your sanctuary. We ask that you would give the revelation of Jesus Christ as the answer and the solution. Would you reveal the arm of the Lord and bring deliverance and salvation? God, I ask that you would show mercy on Sudan, that you would bring a shift and a change and bring deliverance in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask you for revival. Father, I ask you to open up their eyes so they may know that you are the one true God, the one that there's no other, but not the God that is made of stone, but the God who made stone. Lord, I praise your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you.
nations that practice wickedness, my God. Lord, in your mercy, my God, that you would come. Lord, that you would release messengers of justice, my God. Lord, deliver these captives, my God. Strike these governments, my God. Strike these captors to their core, my God. Let them be undone, just like the men on the day of Pentecost, my God. Break in, my God. Break in with light, in Jesus' name. the chains of the injustice oh god would you untie the cords of the yoke lord in juba i pray that you would send forth your hope and your freedom to those captive in slavery oh god would you um, go forth in this city and shake its very foundations lord i pray that you would send forth your righteousness and your hope Like a mighty stream, let justice roll like a mighty river. Righteousness flow like a mighty stream, let justice roll like a mighty river. Righteousness flow like a mighty stream, let justice roll like a mighty river. Righteousness flow like a mighty stream. Let justice flow like a mighty river. Righteousness flow like a mighty stream. Let justice flow like a mighty river. Righteousness flow like a mighty stream.
you send forth your spirit like a like a mighty earthquake, like a mighty fire, breaking chains, setting captives free. God, that the land of Juba would fall on their face and glorify you. We ask for revival. In Jesus' name. Father God, we lift up Sudan before you. We cry out on behalf of the, the oppressed father of the land. Father, we cry out for the ones that are caught up into sex trafficking. Father, I pray that you would bring forth justice in the land. set these captives free. Lord, come and reign in that country, Lord. God, you are who you say you are. You can do what you say you can do. We cry out to you, Jesus. Set the captives free. What the Son has set free is free indeed. Praise you, Jesus. You will set them free. You will, and you are doing it right now.
I just want to make you glad And I just want to move your heart, God To give you all I am And I just want to bless your name I just want to make you glad And I just want to move your heart, God To give you all I am And I just want to bless your name I just want to make you glad And I just want to move your heart, God To give you all I am I just want to bless your name And I just want to bless your name
continuing to pray for revival in Juba, Sudan out of 2 Thessalonians 3, 1 through 5. Pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified, just as it is with you. The Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. Father, we bring before you the city of Juba, Sudan, God, and I pray that your word would run swiftly, that your son, Jesus, would be glorified. Lord, I pray for a spirit of revival to rest upon the city, that the revelation of Jesus would strike hearts. Lord, I pray that you would shine your light, that you would send forth your truth, that you would thunder from heaven over that city. Lord, that you would shake every foundation that is not built upon the rock of Jesus Christ. Lord, that you would save souls. I pray for, for pimps. I pray for traffickers. And Lord, I pray for um, the women who are being prostituted and trafficked. Lord, I pray that oppressor and oppressed alike would come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, that you would deliver them from the power of darkness and convey them into the kingdom of the Son of your love. Lord, would you save souls? Lord, would you release the word of the Lord? Would you speak to them? Would you give them dreams and visions? Would you establish them firm upon the sure foundation of Jesus? Lord, would you send revival to the city? Would you turn it upside down in the name of Jesus?
you would give to your church compassion for prostituted women that you would give to your church in Sudan compassion and love Lord I pray that you would knit their hearts together in love that they would love one another and that they would love the broken that they would have your heart God I ask that you would direct their hearts into the love and the long suffering of Jesus Christ
revelation in the knowledge of him that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power and so we ask jesus that as you the beauty of the most high god is revealed to the sudanese they would see you in your majesty they would see that you are the deliverer you are the one that breaks the chains that allows the oppressed to go free because of your love you are going to set the captives free tonight we declare that you will bring freedom tonight because of your love
because he has anointed me to preach good news to take away all of your sorrow and your mourning to give the oil of joy and a garment of praise Oh, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because He has anointed me to preach good news to take away all of your sorrow and your mourn. So real. 